Hey guys, what's up? I'm Danny Kershka and today I'm here to talk to you about sodium. One of the many questions that I get asked on a regular basis is how much sodium should I be consuming? What is the maximum amount that I should try to avoid? And what I've realized is that there's a big misconception today in, in that there should be a, this fear of having a high sodium diet. But the thing is, is the only people who should fear having a high sodium diet are those who deal with heart disease. And if you are an athlete working in the gym on a regular basis, sweating and burning calories regularly, heart disease shouldn't even be on your radar. It's not something that you likely have to worry about. Therefore, having a low sodium diet should not does not apply to you so there are actually quite a few benefits to having a higher sodium diet especially if you're an athlete one of those being it can actually help increase your performance in the gym while i was dieting this year if when i was using intermittent fasting uh where i would hold off on my first meal of the day i would i could definitely tell a big difference when i was behind on my sodium for the day i would just feel more lethargic a little bit less energy a little bit lightheaded but as soon as I started eating and specifically got a good amount of sodium in, it was like the sun came out. I mean, everything changed. I had so much more energy and I felt like I could actually function and move throughout the day. If you are wanting to increase your sodium, something that you don't want to do is let's say you've been averaging somewhere around 1500 to 1000 milligrams a day. If you're trying to increase that to a much higher number, you don't want to do that right off the bat. You need to slowly increase it because what happens is when you have a much higher amount of sodium compared to what your body is used to, you will retain fluid. And so that's another thing that I think why people have become scared to take in sodium. And it's not directly the fact that sodium causes you retain water, it's an excessive amount compared to what your body is used to that will cause you to gain water. When my clients check in with me after they've gotten, gone out to eat the night before and their scale is up quite a bit the next day, I'll ask them what they had. And if it happened to be an item that was pretty high in sodium, usually we can say, okay, that, that's probably the variable. That's what's making the scale jump. You're just retaining a little bit of water. Again, that does not mean that you should not have a higher sodium diet. It just means that you had more than what your body is used to. Personally, a majority of my prep, I had a minimum of around 3,500 milligrams of sodium per day. But towards the end, uh, on my last, very last peak week, I had upwards of around 4,300 milligrams per day. I still felt great and honestly with a little bit more I felt even better. Whether I'm in prep or whether I'm in my off season, before I go to the gym, I load up on sodium. I will salt some of the foods that I'm having because not only can it help increase my performance, but it also can help give me an awesome little pump due to uh, what it, the effect that it has on the blood flow in your body. It helps get the blood flow into your muscles a bit more causing you to have that awesome pump in the gym. If you, in conclusion, if you are someone who wants to try having a higher sodium diet, you need to do this, you need to add it in slowly. Start monitoring where you're at, figure out where you're averaging, and slowly add it a little bit at a time. What you don't want to do is go from 1,500 a day to 4,000 the next day. You're gonna retain water, ankles are gonna swell up, your joints are gonna hurt, and it's just not gonna be good and you're probably gonna freak yourself out over what the scale is reading. But if you can slowly add in a little bit over time, your body should adjust to it, get used to it. The, another positive effect that this could have on you is when you do go out to eat and have foods that are higher in sodium, you're probably not gonna have that much water retention the next day if your body is already used to a high amount. If you are not someone who is dealing with heart disease or if that is not a risk for you, a higher sodium diet is not bad for you. If you're an athlete in the gym, you can definitely see some great benefits from having a diet higher in sodium. That's it for today, guys. It was a quick one. Hope you got a little something out of it. Make sure to subscribe below, and I will talk to you next time.